What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrain01, and we are back with more Battlefield 4 PlayStation 4 multiplayer gameplay. Team Deathmatch. I think this map is called Havana. And wow, wait a second here. Look at that. That is some that is some of the ugliest textures I think I've ever seen in a video game. There you go. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, that's understandable, you know. Um, it takes a while for obviously it to load kind of in. We just started the match up kind of in a random spot. But, um, yeah, I felt I was playing the uh, the original PlayStation there for a second. Alright, so I've never played this map, so we're going to see how this goes. Again, I like playing these team deathmatch games because the maps are smaller, and I prefer smaller maps. Um, if you play the conquest mode, the maps are so huge you can go, I mean, minutes without seeing anyone, without doing anything, just running across the map can get a little boring. So, uh, that's where Team Deathmatch comes into play. Everything is a lot, kind of, it's more close in, there's not as much going on, it's awesome. I feel bad, kind of just snuck up on that guy. I don't feel bad for that guy. Whoa! I got lucky there, I saw that, like, a little too late. Someone like set a tripwire or something. I don't even know how I uh, was able to get by that without actually dying, but. Alright, 3 no so far. Not too bad. Good start. Let's see if the strain can keep it up. Oh man, just a little late. I think someone else got him. At least that's what I hope. Shot in the back for a matter of eighty dollars by Buford Payne. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't get my weapon up in time. I just gotta, re I gotta remember to, to stop kind of going to the shoulder cam. You know, I don't have to do that all the time. Sometimes just shoot first and then go shoulder. It might actually help out a little bit more. I had a good spot up here. Whatever it was, it was working out for me. I would love to see it continue to work out for me. Nice. Kill assist, I'll take it. I don't have to have kills. It's about teamwork, it's about, you know, working together. Therefore, I don't need to have crap loads of kills. I know they're all outside there. Looks like he got him, okay. Ooh, I mean, this, the, the sound, the, the video, everything, it's so crystal clear. I'm still really pissed. Those of you that watched a lot of my videos know that my cat chewed up my XP7s. Really pissed about that. However, what I am happy about was I love the uh, XP7s. I thought they were great, I th but they were very expensive. Um, and they were wired, you know? So, um, what I have done is I see somebody there. I just can't tell where he was. I think someone shot him. No, he's still alive. What the hell? Um, so I went out and I got the Afterglows. Gotcha. <laughs> now the, uh, I think that's what it's called. Afterglow or something like that. The wireless, it, they're about 200 bucks. Uh, but this is a, a different type of headset. These are wireless. I wanted to go wireless because, well, that's going to help with the, the cat problem. I don't know who's... Wow, dude. Aw. All I had to do is wait a split second later. I love these live commentaries. Don't you love them? But, uh, nice. What? I'm dead? Well, how? Okay, I, I, I won't even ask how I died randomly right there, but... Um, really nice, these Afterglow wireless headset. Um, when, when, you, when I usually get wireless headsets and I try wireless headsets out, I get a lot of static, and I don't like static. Nobody likes static, you know that. 
Um, and this is the first time I've ever had a wireless gaming headset. No static. Like, no no interference with other wireless things that I've got. Because you've got to, I mean, if you look at my room, it's full of wireless connections and full of wireless electronics and all that kind of stuff. And I get no, no lag. I get no, like, kind of humming noises or anything like that. And it's awesome. I must say, I really do enjoy it. It's a random grenade. Man. Oh. Aww. I must have really set him up for a good headshot or something. But uh, I'm really liking these. Afterglow wireless headset. About 200 bucks, And I think it's well worth it. It come with a little cool stand that... Um, uh, that you can place the headphones on and it keeps wires and everything out of uh, I'm sorry I took your kill but uh, it keeps you know the wires away from the cat and all that stuff and that's what I need I'm not really worried about if uh, you can use the chat for PS4 or anything like that um, however this uh, headset is actually PS4 compatible it, it comes with a PS4 chat cable uh, but of course it doesn't come with an Xbox chat cable but that's all right. I'm still happy with it. Let's check out the scoreboard. I'm in last place. Wow, I'm at the bottom and I'm eight and three. How is that possible? But I really, I really do like them. And uh, my friend said he's gonna fix the XP7s, and um, I might sell them to him. Uh, if I do not sell them to him, uh, then I might, uh, I might do a giveaway or something like that with them uh, because to me. Um, these are way more comfortable. The afterglows, or I think that's what they're called. Uh, but it's the wireless model, 200 bucks. So you guys can look that up on Amazon. You can see exactly the name. I tried the, I tried, oh crap. I tried the $89 wireless model, which, uh, the AUGs or something like that. Um, however, they were just stereo. This is like 5.1 surround sound. That's why they're 200 bucks. So I definitely recommend, if you've got the money to shell out, I would recommend those over the XP7s. Um, comfortability is a huge issue for me, and I want everything to be nice and neat. If I can't, oh, you got to be kidding me. I am so mad at myself right now. Okay. Wow. I could have nearly just lost that. Nice, I think I was the last guy they got a kill. Sweet, that was a short and sweet match. That's why I like Team Deathmatch too. The the matches aren't very long. Still have 47 minutes left. Well, let's see how we did. But yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying a little bit of uh, Battlefield 4 gameplay. And I'll be bringing out some more of these videos for you guys. I just wanted to kind of give you the best of both worlds and let you see all the games. I know you've seen... Pretty much all of them, but I didn't do too bad. Ten and five, I'll take that. Especially since everybody else is so much higher ranking than me. I'm a, I'm a level one, and everyone else is like way up there. So I'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here again, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will continue to pump out some more Battlefield 4 gameplay. Don't forget, I am right now working on a lot of projects kind of in the background getting videos ready um, so as soon as I feel comfortable with putting those walkthroughs out I will do so that way you'll have a lot of content over Christmas and over all that kind of stuff but uh, again thanks for watching guys sorry this is a short video but hopefully you are enjoying a little Battlefield 4 and uh, we'll see you next time peace out bitches